morning everybody it is tuesday september 24th at 9 15 a.m um i have to head down to breakfast and eat really fast because i'm actually going to be meeting an upperclassman at bean in uh, before 10 so i can get a textbook for my keyboard skills class but yeah it's the first day of classes Beautiful day. I just got my textbook. Now I'm gonna go to the lake field and just do some editing. Going to my first class, Intro to Psychology, and that building over there. Hey y'all, we got out of Intro to Psych like 10 minutes early, so that was nice. I had enough time to eat lunch. Now I'm headed to Beanin for keyboard skills. I was just in Beanin for the past couple hours editing and doing some work, trying to export my Wildcat Welcome video. But it's not working for some reason, but yeah. I need to go warm up for my lesson now. Hey guys, I'm back in my dorm now. I had my lesson. The lesson, honestly, I played pretty terribly. But this first lesson and many of the next few lessons will be more about establishing my I guess you call it posture kind of like the fundamentals of bassoon playing not concerning the musicality and that kind of thing it's a lot of hand position the position of the bassoon and that kind of stuff so that was a lot of today's lesson and it was really good he he threw a lot at me but I'm really excited just to start working on this stuff and start improving and really getting to where I want to be I just did some printing at my dorm, got all my Spanish documents printed out. It's a lot. Um, and I'm gonna go eat dinner. I have so many things to do, I don't even know where to start. Like, I have to practice. There's a ministry, uh, there's an on campus ministry meeting tonight having their big event. So I wanna try and go to that. But I need to. It's 6 p.m. I need to eat dinner, see if I can practice before then, and then come back and do homework and edit and blah, 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 blah. Ah, there's a lot to do. Okay, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Bye. Hey guys, I'm in my practice room right now, and I'm trying to practice through some of the things that my professor and I talked about today in my lesson. I am somewhat frustrated with myself with not being able to get these down. Um, especially when all my life my teachers have been telling me that I'm such a quick learner. But again, this is to be expected and this is me telling myself I need to be more patient and really understand that to get this concept down it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of motivation. So this is day one of me trying to fix a lot of my fundamentals and really set myself up for some more progress. We're setting up our printer. Yeah. Ah, our new printer. So now I sleep next to a fridge and a printer. My wildest dreams are coming true. Yay. Hey guys, it's Tuesday night. It's 
my first day of classes was today and Honestly, overall, like my classes themselves were pretty good, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed intro to psych and my keyboard skills. Both of those classes were lots of fun, so I'm excited for that. Um, I had my first lesson today, and I mean, overall today was an okay day. Um, I've got a lot of work to do. I have like 18 pages of Spanish, where like 16 of them are just all like syllabus, course, grading things and I have to read a piece and have that ready for tomorrow. I've got another thing for my seminar that I have to read for tomorrow, and I just got a lot of things, and it's like 11.40 p.m., so I'm gonna sign off for the night and just work. Um, I also got the opportunity to go to um, RUF, which is a Reformed University Fellowship. And I went to their large group meeting tonight, which was worship and a message. So that was a lot of fun. It was really nice to be um, at that event. So, yeah. Good night. See you tomorrow. Morning. It's 8 a.m. on Wednesday. Today. It's gonna be my busiest day of classes this week. And I'm kinda tired. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, well, I have music theory at 9, so I gotta go down and eat breakfast and then head out to Bean in. So, see you later. Hi everyone, it's 12, and I just got back to my dorm. Music theory this morning was pretty good. We talked about tonicity, um, trying to describe ways you establish the tonic note when listening to a piece of music. And it's actually pretty interesting and very difficult to put into words how I do it. Um, and then I had oral skills. Today oral skills was just a singing examination done privately with the instructor. So that took like three minutes and then I was done. So then I just did some work before going to Spanish. Spanish 220 intro to literary analysis is hands down going to be my worst class because I suck at literature. Like, I just can't. I stayed after class to speak with my professor and I was telling her about how scared I was and my concerns and I almost started crying, but it's okay. I'm scared, but I have to go eat lunch now and then I'll probably go pick up some packages before I go to my next class, which is my first year seminar on the history of transgender rights. Yay. After eating lunch, I went to go pick up my package from the packaging center, and then I went back to my dorm, and kind of just laid in bed for a little bit. I accidentally fell asleep and, and woke up 10 minutes before class. But luckily, class was really close. I did that, and after class, I came here to the read room. Worked on a few reads, ruined a couple of them. That was not very fun. And then I tried to practice for a little bit, still getting used to this whole new, what feels like a new system of playing for me. And <laughs> And it doesn't feel like it's been getting any better since yesterday. It doesn't help that the read I played on is pretty trash, but I don't have very many reads that I can play on anymore because I broke some of them, but it's fine. I'm gonna go off to dinner now and then try and get some textbooks after that. Wednesday night and I really do not feel like working right now it's like 10 
so I'm gonna do some decorating. Today was my busiest day this week, um, but I still managed to find time to be in the read room for like 40 to minutes to an hour twice today. Um, also managed to ruin three of my reads, so that honestly has been pretty upsetting. Came back to my dorm earlier than I had expected to just because I wasn't really in the mood to do anything else. So I came back and kind of did some work and then decorated like y'all saw and then just did some more work and tomorrow is Thursday, I only have two classes but I also have studio class for a couple hours and then there's an event that I'm trying to go to at night so I need to get some rest. Okay, good night. Good morning, it's Thursday, 9.30 a.m. I'm about to go down and eat breakfast. And after that, I know yesterday I said I was gonna go buy my textbooks, but it turns out the bookstore was closed. So I'm gonna go today after breakfast, and then I will go to Intro to Psych at 11. And Intro to Psych goes until 12.20. So that's 40 minutes between the end of class and the start of keyboard skills. So I honestly, don't really have enough time to go to the dining hall and eat and get back to bean in. So I'll probably just bring a Tupperware and pack some extra food. We'll see. Alright, peace. Pretty disappointed with the breakfast here lately. Um, the eggs are pretty nasty. There's a chocolate chip pancake with two chocolate chips in it but at least the oatmeal and the yogurt is good Hey 
morning though. It's 12.30 on Thursday night. But yeah, so that Mysterious Benedict Society thing I went to, turns out it wasn't an org. It was immersive theater. So there was a group of students that basically acted out the book in about an hour and a half and had us moving around campus to different locations that were pertinent to the book and acted out the plot. And it was actually really awesome. I really enjoyed that. At first, I was considering leaving because there were all these little groups that were already formed and they were all talking and mingling and I just stood there by myself for like 10 minutes before they finally started and I honestly wanted to leave, but I'm glad I stayed. Yeah, today was an interesting day. We had studio class today, which made me really scared for what's expected of me being part of the studio. We also got our placements for our ensembles. Um, I'm in symphonic band, also known as sim band, which is the lower band, which, but that's totally expected as a freshman competing against all these people that have so much more experience. So I'm totally okay with that. And yeah, I've got a ton of Spanish things to do. So I'm gonna sign off for the night and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Hi guys, it's Friday morning. It's 8.30, we have class at nine. Yeah, we're really bad at waking up. Like, really bad. 9 a.m. theory, maybe, maybe that was a mistake. But, yeah, <laughs> bye. Hey y'all, it's like 10.45 Friday night. I just finished practicing and there's lightning and thundering going on right now and I have to get back to my dorm so hopefully I can get back safely. We'll see if I make it. Ah! I made it and I'm dry except for my feet. My feet are wet and cold for like the fifth time today. at BN, which runs all the events at BN. So, I got the job. So, I have orientation today in 30 minutes, so I'm gonna eat fast. Let's go to lunch with some of our friends. We're gonna get some Korean food. Yeah. Hey guys, it's 
It's like 4.30 p.m. right now on Saturday. I'm in my practice room at Meenan, and I mean, <laughs> this view is all right. Uh, I get the ceiling of Regenstein, which is the old music building. Um, but yeah, I'm about to practice. I'm really tired right now because I didn't get much sleep and I had to wake up somewhat early today. So I'm going to be going to dinner later with one of my friends that I know from home, um, Johnny Chang. Um, we met at Allstate my sophomore year, so basically two and a half years ago. Um, so we're meeting up and we'll have a good time. Hello everybody, it is 11.40 p.m. on Saturday night and I have to record a video for my oral skills assignment. Um, I'm recording it on my laptop, but I want it for my vlog too, woohoo! So, here we go! Uh, what am I supposed to say? Okay. Hello! My name is Jason Huang. I am from Dallas, Texas, and I play the bassoon. That is my primary instrument. Um, the title and composer or artist of my favorite pieces, um, one of my all-time favorites is definitely Mahler's Second Symphony, also known as the Resurrection Symphony. Um, I also am totally in love with Strauss's Alpine Symphony. Those are my top two. Um, one expectation I have for this class is to grow more confident singing in front of people um, and not by myself. Or as in, not singing. Hold. <laughs> I want to be more comfortable singing when in a group of other people if I'm singing by myself as opposed to just singing by myself in a, in my room or something like that um, okay and now I have to sing a major scale on solfege Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, Okay, there it is. Hello guys, it's 12.45 a.m. right now, and I'm gonna go sleep soon. But anyways, I thought I would talk about kind of what's been going on today. A couple days ago, when I got my placements from my pool audition, I initially thought I was placed into only one group. It turns out I'm playing in symphonic band, or a sim band, as well as symphonic wind ensemble, also abbreviated as SWE. So the symphonic band is the lower band, and then SWE is the top band, which is usually comprised of upperclassmen and master students. And it's really rare for a freshman to be placed in it, but since our studio is so small, my professor is having me double for this quarter. But there's a problem with that because SWE rehearses Monday, Wednesday, Friday afternoon, um, Sim Band rehearses Tuesday, Thursdays. But I had a schedule conflict because one of my courses meets on Mondays and Wednesdays at the same time. And it's a whole situation. Typically, freshmen don't get into SWE. So the way our advisor kind of had us choose our classes was we planned assuming that none of us would be in SWE or in NUSO, the top orchestra. But there are always cases when that doesn't happen and this being one of them. So talked with my advisor and we looked at my options and we decided that I'm going to drop my course for this quarter. And it is a required course for graduation. We have in the Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences, we have to take two seminars. It's required for freshmen to take one seminar in the fall, but then their other one goes into either winter or spring. So what we're gonna do is I'm dropping my fall seminar 
and instead I will take winter and spring seminars rather than what my original plan was fall and spring. So anyways, it was a whole complicated thing. I emailed my seminar professor and then he was very nice about it. He was very supportive and um, I'm no longer in that class, which means my Mondays and Wednesdays are more free until I have to start doubling. But yeah. <laughs> And I'm back with my Canon camera because I went to Target today and got an SD card. So that's fun. Really happy. Yeah, dinner was really good. We ended up going to Andy's Custard after and played some Smash at one of our friend's apartments. I'm very not good at Smash, so I never won a round, but I still had a lot of fun. And I came back to my dorm. It's been a long day. But I'm a. Uh... I'm gonna go sleep. Good night. Most of the world knows the name Jaffa. Good morning, everybody. As a country of Orange. They don't know about a city like this in the world. Uh, our Why shuttle go? for Turkey leaves at 10.30 today. Since the second today. half of the 19th and century. You might be thinking that, oh, we don't have much time to eat. Jaffa we have plenty of time because of the there's not much to eat. Our dining hall for breakfast to the whole world. kinda not good. So... <laughs> Stupid, I would never do that. 
Haha. <laughs> um, and that thing was, I locked myself out of my room. <laughs> So I was gonna go shower, and typically my shower routine is... Wow, this is gonna be really embarrassing, and you're gonna wonder why I'm posting this on a public page, but it's for me to look back and laugh at. So, when I go shower, I typically go in my underwear, and I will wrap my towel around my waist, um, even though I'm wearing underwear. But still, like, in the hallways, you don't want other people to, like, ooh, yeah. So yeah, I usually go without a shirt on, so I also take all the things I need to wash my contacts, brush my teeth, floss, and all that stuff. So I'm like leaving my room and as I exit my room, I'm like, I'm probably forgetting something. I feel like something's different. And then the door closes behind me, I take a couple steps, and I realize I'm not wearing my lanyard, which means I don't have my wild card, aka I locked myself out of my room. My phone is also in the room charging, so I couldn't contact my roommate, and he usually doesn't get back to like 1.30 a.m. So, as you can probably guess, I went down to the front desk and got a temporary access card. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go return that now. Good job, Jason, you're really thriving. One hasn't even been a week of school, and I've already locked myself out of my room. Um, yeah. So my, my pro college tip for this vlog is always have your room key with you or if you come to Northwestern, make sure your wild card is with you at all times. Yeah, it, life is just easier that way. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey guys, uh, it's Sunday night and I was just gonna go through my day really fast. Um, well, I went to CSA, uh, Chinese Student Association's dumpling party, which is where I got branded. Um, no, I did not go to a frat party. That kind of life is not for me. But anyway, dumpling party. Um, it was a really huge event. I was expecting less people and more dumplings. But because there are so many people, we were only able to get seven dumplings each, which was, let's just say I'm a growing boy. So after I got my plate of dumplings, I left to my dining hall and ate some more food. Um, and then I went to go practice. But anyways, yeah. And then I locked myself out of my room, which is always an experience. Um, I recommend you try it at least once. It's, it's, it's exhilarating, what can I say? It gives you a lot of energy. You really, you really, uh, you get a kick out of it, you know? Anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming with me um, along my week. Um, first week of school. But anyways, we have week two coming up. And I'm ready to get this ball rolling. Let's get this school thing on the road, you know? All of my best friends have been in school for a month now, and I've just now got started. Just quarter system things, you know. But anyways, I hope you all have an amazing week. Um, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I know it's another 30 plus minute video, but you know what? I don't care. I like these videos. They're cool. So if you made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have an amazing week. Go out and be fantastic. Alright, bye!